as I began to wake up and develop and share this material and study the different things I've been involved in and, you know, alternative forms of awareness, consciousness decree, quantum physics, uh, etc., I realized that it was important for me to be made new, to be awakened. So this is some of what I see as required to shift old patterns into new patterns. So first of all, new attitudes for creativity. It is imperative for me that I woke up to the idea and I wake up daily that I actually have a choice in any situation. I can make a choice even if it doesn't seem like I have a choice. I can, if it looks like path A is available or path B, I can always wait for path C. So I have a choice, and this is an important thing to give yourself. I have a choice. And to realize that I am, in the I am that I am idea, I am a co-creator. And I can do things differently. In fact, one of my things that I share in my trainings is do everything differently. When you go home today, or you know whatever, I, I have people do every, every, you know, brush your teeth differently, sleep differently in your bed, be in a different world, you know, speak differently to your children, your partner, etc. So I can do things differently and this is how we get outside of our box. And I can self-correct. And I can, even if it's not seemingly available, I can choose to choose. And I can speak consciously. Now, having presented at Young Living many years ago, um, I had the, the personal blessing of speaking at National Convention one year. And it was wonderful, and it was also terrible at the same time. And the terrible part of it was is that as I shared languaging, and uh, the year before, Marcella von Harding had shared some on it, and some of the speakers after that were being heckled for using the word want or whatever it was. And this is exactly what not to do. In other words, the whole thing I'm sharing is not a, another way to judge ourselves or judge others. Consciously, in my words, the word conscious denotes love. 